Hi, my name is Al Manzi. I'm the president and publisher of the Daily Herald. I worked for 17 and a half years in, in the newspaper industry in Pennsylvania before arriving here. I'm Randy Wright. Uh, I'm the executive editor at the Daily Herald. This is a, a bayonet from a, a M1 Garand rifle. My shoe size is 11 and a half. One of the things that is always going to be uh, important in a local community is local news. And uh, the staff that's here on the ground, feet on the ground, interviewing people locally, uh, this is something we can provide that nobody else can. I'm working on an article about uh, local college becoming a university. Oh, um, we were just discussing the top 100 business project we were working on for April's publication. One of the most important things about reporting local news at a very local basic level is that it, it really touches home with a lot of a lot of people. I think one of the cool things about the Daily Herald is people drive by and they see this tiny little building and they think, gee, that's not a very big building. This is our 12-unit uh, urbanite press. Uh, it'll put out about 40,000 papers an hour. Um, most, of, most nights will run about uh, between an hour and an hour and a half just for our main runs, but we put out newspapers really all day long. Vintage, about 1974. Presses obviously will last forever if you take good care of them. These guys do a great job at taking care of it. We're gonna hang these plates here on this cylinder. These cylinders go around and transfer ink. On the, this surface here, which is made out of rubber, transfers it to the paper, and then onto the folder where it gets cut and folded. And this is the classified section for tomorrow's newspaper. Soon they'll start the classified section. We'll run back to the mail room. This machinery takes inserts and puts all of those sections back together into a completed product at the rate of about 16,000 an hour. And then that will be sent to our distribution centers where our carriers will get the main, setter, main sections late tonight, put them together and deliver them by 5.30 in the morning. We've got about 14,000 weekly subscribers. In the last month, we had almost 20,000 unique visitors to the weekly's websites. Our website is now getting about 3.2 million page views a month, by far the largest in the market. Uh, here you have on the right, you have uh, Mark Bullard, he's the uh, Director of Design and News Technology. Jason Larson, who is uh, probably the best uh, programmer in Utah County, if not in Utah. These two guys together do the work of about uh, a dozen people. And I'm not joking, there are uh, online departments in newspapers uh, across the country that have many more people working for them that have much less sophisticated sites. We have a great site. Our web team uh, is frequently looked upon as being the most uh, progressive. What's happened with that website, and these are fascinating numbers, in 1995 this newspaper was reaching about 80,000 readers. Today we're reaching about 140 to 150,000 readers and that's in combination with print and web. The power of that additional medium has just been so explosive to the company and it's, a great, uh, it's great for the newspaper because we get the combination of advertising touch in print and advertising touch on the web, which nobody else can do.